As I've said, all the cars have the same engine. And now in the second part of the review, we will start with the 7 series and take a tour of 40 kilometers. So guys, the drive with the 7 series, a nice Alpina dashboard, the same s bands that we know. And from the first corner, you can see a huge difference regarding comfort. All the cars will be driven in comfort. The engine is the same. You will see also in the performance related videos that the acceleration is almost identical. But the difference in comfort versus the X5 is simply huge. Also, at the moment, the car has still winter tires. This means the noise level is a lot bigger, but you feel that this is a premium limousine also when you corner it sticks you do not feel a lot it's another level of comfort regarding the x5 and it's simply better than the 5 series but from the three cars the x5 is the less comfy one the in the middle is the 5 series and by far the most comfy one and the best sound isolation is from the 7 series. You can see it also now. When the car uh, flies by, you hear very little. Regarding the dimension of the 7 series, of course, it's, it's bigger. It has 5 meters 200, I believe. So it's, it's by far the, the biggest car from the trio the interior a lot more premium with the brown leather and the cream leather it's if, if you want a car where you can travel 1000 kilometers without any type of issues and and a mobile home office where you can work also in the background if you need it if you are in the in, in front of the, your office uh, of your client's office and you need 30 minutes to do something in the car you can do it you have enough room it's also of course a car that has some some additional uh, stars for the image it's a 7 series in the end and it makes a lot of fun to drive it I will simply drive a little bit and let you enjoy the silence that you have with such a car. As you can see, 265 horsepower, also in such a big car as a 7 series is more than enough. Good, very good fuel efficiency, a lot better than the, in the X5, because the 7 series and the 5 series are between 8.5 and 8.7 liters, and the X5 I would say is somewhere 9 point something, 10 liters, it's simply it's simply a box on wheels and you feel it on the time so the big disadvantage for your for the x5 is the consumption and this is this is something where where you simply have to love such a car the comfort while takeover but basically the 7 series is an autobahn high speed car where you can drive 200 220 for 1500 kilometers and have absolutely no issue when arriving there and also now kick down and 
the car really goes. I would say the feeling that you have in the 7 series is also very different regarding cornering because you sit uh, way lower in the car like you sit in the in the 5 series and you also have a great a great distance between your front and uh, back wheels so the car stays really really good planted in the bands there it's it's a lot better than the x5 the x5 has some rolling you have to fight the x the x5 from time to time here you do not feel this type of fighting the car is not rattling there is nothing loose it has 75,000 kilometers and you hear the silence that's crazy for such a luxury vehicle if I I would make a summary here you can feel best the difference between the X5, the, uh, seven, the 5 series and the 7 series because this car has air suspension and it's simply gliding. The feeling that you get in the 7 series with this gliding you do not get in the other cars. That's simply the huge difference, noise isolation and this gliding feeling, of course the space that you have inside the car but this gliding feeling and the the damping of the suspension noises is way better than in the 5 series or the x5 and this is this is the main selling point if you want such a car comfort is priority above anything else a type air always a car that i will love very good cars, very fun to drive. Uh, let's see. Now he is not playing. We can also go a little bit on sport. Ah, oh, beautiful dashboard, the green one. And the most impressive thing, besides comfort, if we are talking 7 series, is the cornering capabilities at very low speed. We are talking about a car that has over 5 meters. And take a look at the turning circle while we are driving out. I was shopping and guys, honestly, look at this turning circle. I do not know another car that is turning like this it's simply it's simply like a one series you do not feel a lot you simply drive like a normal car although you have a huge ship a cruise ship so guys a short check how the car handles really bad bumps as you can see it's a gravel road but the air suspension is here great you do not feel basically anything it's a lot better than the x5 from the comfort point of view it glides over the bumps also here a few bumps it glides over the bumps you do not feel anything we will have also another type of road in a few meters there also you you can see and feel and hear the difference versus the x5 or the 5 series this is what i mean when we go here left here it's really bumpy in the x5 in the 7 series you don't feel anything at all it glides over this type of road the 
the steering is also very light you do not feel a lot in the comfort mode but as soon as you go on the sport mode the steering is very accept acceptable for such a limousine you feel a little bit what's going on in the road it's a little bit heavier and it also helps if you want to do some correcting you you feel the correction you really feel the correction while turning The, again, like I said it on the 3 series, if you drive a 5 series, the X5 or the 7 series, you get in the car and after a few hundred meters you know it's a BMW. It's exactly the same driving behavior, braking, accelerating, turning. You feel that the X-Drive has a, a rear-wheel drive bias because the car will always have the tendency to slide the back out slightly while you accelerate and here we have also a train crossover you do not feel anything two cars in front of us they are both accelerating I'm only hitting maybe 15% the throttle and you can feel how, how much torque this car has down below and this is this is really something that you have to love at these cars and if you want to overtake it simply has the power it goes we are at the moment three persons in the car but you have absolutely no issue overtaking you see the polo in front of me is all already driving on the right because it knows what it follow and now if you kick it it really goes I'm not telling you the speed, I will also blur it, but it's, let's say, it's extremely quick at the moment for a B-Road. But you, you do not feel a lot, it handles very good the corners. It's definitely not a fight like the, with the X5, with the X5 at the same speed. Here you fight the car so you feel in the steering that you have to counter steer with power so that you keep the, the box on the road. In the 5 series and in the 7 series you simply go in the corner and the car follows. You do not have to fight the car. That's the difference regarding driving dynamics between the 5, 7 and the X5. Now again we will have a really bad road when where you can feel the difference between the, the three cars. Also, wind noise is a little bit lower than on the other cars if you drive at 140, 150, 160 kilometers per hour. But it's not that a big difference to the 5 series, but it's a little bit bigger versus the X5 because the X5 has this boxy, boxy design. We are driving legally as we should <laughs> most of the time <laughs> here with the x5 when i'm going in at 50 kilometers per hour i feel the jump with the 7 series you go once down and it's not jumping back that's the jumpy feeling that i've meant the, the x5 it's it's of course no stability issue but the car is jumping on such a road here you simply glide over you do not feel anything at 50 kilometers per hour and this is something that only the 7 series has i've never driven the 5 series or the x5 with this uh, air suspension it could be that if you drive the cars with the air suspension it's similar and it should be similar but the 7 series is the flagship for bmw and it has a good reason why it's the flagship it's focused 100 percent only on comfort noise what you feel on the road 
how you you are doing a very long trip and this is something that I, I couldn't imagine comparing to to something else also here really bad bumps but you, you do not feel them and the turning guys look I'm going extra it turns like a four meters car so I, I would say my Civic Type R and the M3 have big, big challenges doing such a, a, a 360 degree turn or 180 degree turn like the 7 Series does. It's really simply great. And although we have winter tires, you feel no road noise. This means the uh, sound isolation of this car is simply great and now look accelerating at 2000 2200 rpm it shifts at 2 3 2300 rpm i believe you do not hear the engine you do not feel the gear shift although it's in sport the road noise is till 120 130 extremely extremely decent and consumption wise the car is like a normal two liter diesel car this is the legendary efficiency of the straight six uh, cylinder engine of bmw and i have to say these straight six engines on the m3 and on the three cars this diesel engine it's the same you have crazy good efficiency unbelievable power down below very very little lag comparing to a diesel engine i mean not comparing to something like an electric car or the or a high performance car and if you floor it the car will go you are not afraid to make a takeover with this 7 series although it's the basic engine it's the 730 so 265 horsepower it's more than enough for normal use and it's simply great for autobahn